I want to pass this important information to the people living in Nigeria. If you are living in Nigeria, listen attentively. Before you leave your comfort zone, before you leave your house, as you are dressing up to go to your office, your workplace, church, market, shopping malls, school rooms, offices, or any other place you intend to go, listen and listen attentively. Before you leave your comfort zone, people living in Nigeria, people living in Abuja, listen attentively. Before you leave your house, don't say I did not tell you. Have it at the back of your mind that Boko Haram terrorists are no longer in Kujé prison. Kujé prison is empty. Before you leave your comfort zone, have it at the back of your mind that Boko Haram terrorists are no longer in Kujé prison. You are not worried. Kindly be worried. Please be worried. You have to be worried. You have to be scared. Boko Haram terrorists. What you should be discussing is why should Boko Haram hardened criminals be in Kujé prison? Why are they inside the Kujé prison? And now, they are out of the prison. They are living with you now. Boko Haram. Boko Haram are no longer in Kujé prison. You have to be security conscious. You have to be scared. You have to be at alert. You must be at alert. You must be at alert. The prison is empty. Boko Haram is no longer in the prison. You have to be scared. If you are living in Nigeria, you must be security conscious. You have to be security conscious. Nobody is there to protect you. Oh, ho, you are hoping on police and army. Sorry for you. Sorry for you. There is nothing like being military or police or army. They are in the southeastern part of Nigeria doing much past. You are on your own. You have to be security conscious. You are responsible for your own security. You are responsible for your own security. You must be security conscious. And all of you that are carrying Bible, I say let me give you this information. All of you that are going to the church, you know that church is the major target. Church has always been the major target. Kidnapping of pastors, kidnapping of reverend fathers, and destruction of church, bombing of church. Attack inside the church. All of you buying Bible. While you are buying Bible, I want to give you this information. That the terrorists are buying more weapons and equipping themselves. Listen attentively. Sister Maria, Islamization is loading. It has started in Abuja. Banning of alcohol. That is how it used to start, the Sharia law. Don't drink alcohol in Abuja because of Mohammed will be angry. That is how Islamization used to start. Sister Maria, very soon they will be calling you Aisha. Very soon they will be giving you another name. All of you that are carrying Bible. The more you buy Bible, the more your enemies are buying more weapons. The more you are buying more Bible, King James and New Testament. Don't tell me that God is not a merciful God. No, God doesn't watch everything that is happening. He has given you power. He said, I have given you power to become the sons and daughters of God. While you are buying Bible, your enemies are buying more weapons. They are no longer in the prison. I don't go to church again. Why? Because I don't think that I can sit down in the church and feel comfortable when I carry Bible and my enemies are carrying weapons. Until something is done, then I will have to stop going to the church because already I am the body of Christ and I am the church. I don't have to go to that building where a terrorist can open fire and kill everybody in the church. I can't go to the church where the reverend, where church will be going on. Terrorists will come and kidnap my reverend father and kidnap my pastor. No, church is no longer safe. My enemies, our enemies are buying weapons and we are buying Bible. I want to tell you very soon. Very soon, Sister Rebecca, your name will not be Rebecca any longer. Your name will be, your name will be Aisha. Your name will be Latifat. That will be your name. Very soon, all of you will turn to Islam. All of you will be shouting, Allah, Wakabad. Very soon, all of you will be shouting, Allah, Wakabad, because terrorists are no longer in prison. Boko Haram terrorists. How can terrorists free out of prison? And nobody is asking questions. Somebody will be asking, somebody should be asking questions. Nobody is held accountable. President that is supposed to have resigned. 
president that is supposed to have been, have been impeached, his convoy was even attacked. If your president is not safe, who are you? If the president of Nigeria is not safe, who are you? You are not safe. Your president is under attack. Why won't there be a, why won't there be jailbreak, sister? Why won't there be jailbreak, brother? Adamu Ghaniba said Boko Haram terrorists are freedom fighters from the north. Lai Mohammed said bandits are common criminals. They are not asking for the se separation of Nigeria. They are not threatening the sovereignty of Nigeria. That these bandits are not asking for the breakup of Nigeria. All they are doing is bombing, killing, displacing thousands of men and women. Making thousands of children, fatherless and motherless, men, widowers and, and women, widows. What these bandits are doing is just to place thousands of people inside IDP camps. That is what they are doing. They are not asking for the separation or disintegration of Nigeria. That is what Laya Mohammed said. So that is why there will be jailbreak. There will be jailbreak since the northerners are protecting Boko Haram and bandits. There will always be jailbreak, but unfortunately, the heat. You people that carry Bible to church are the ones that will suffer it afterwards. Boko Haram terrorists are no longer in prison. The arm of government that is supposed to have impeached the president of Nigeria, all of them are useless. The two arms of government we have, they don't know their work. Why you are suffering is because we have an ineffective, backward and retrogressive might of assembly. The night of assembly is the most useless night of assembly the world has ever recorded. The, club, the senators are useless. These are senators that are supposed to be sitting down. Sitting down and planning on how to impeach a president that, that, is, that is not giving you the service that you require, that is required of him to give. Why were you asked to be the president of Nigeria? To protect lives and property. Lives and properties are not being protected. What is expected of you to do? Resign or the senators will come and impeach. Impeach the president. They are not impeaching the president. They are not impeaching the president. Nobody is held accountable for the disappearance, for the attack, for the terrorists freed out of Ukuja prison. Why must the terrorists leave the prison yard? Prison yard is supposed to be secured. Where terrorists are kept. Now they have left. All of them are now living in your homes. Terrorists are in every nook and cranny of Nigeria. You have to be scared. Please be scared. I beg you in the name of God, please be scared. People that are going to church, you have to be scared. I don't enter church again. Because God gave us power, we don't want to use the power. Even Samson in the Bible, when he saw Goliath, he did not confront Goliath with the Bible. He confronted Goliath with a stone, and God gave him the strength, and Goliath fell down. The gigantic Goliath fell down. That is why all of you, all of you Christians, they are killing you every day. The people that are supposed to impeach the president, all of them are useless. Useless senators. These are governors that failed in their state. Governors that failed woefully in their state. They have entered the Senate, sitting down there as their retirement ground. These senators are supposed to have impeached the president of Nigeria. You are not doing well. We employed you to be the president of Nigeria, but you are clueless. You are incompetent. You are not giving us the service we required of you. People are dying under your watch. People are hungry under your watch. There is terrorist attack, killing upon killing. Now, Kujo prison is empty. There is no longer terrorists inside the prison. People are scared. We don't know where they are going to go. The church might be the target. Islamization loading. Resign. Senators, impeach him. You say, no, all of you are useless. You are supposed to impeach the president. You are supposed to impeach the president. That is what is expected of reasonable senators to do. But all of them are useless. The most useless night of assembly. What they are doing is those against the same nay, nay, those in favor say hi, hi. You are shouting hey and hi. Hi and hey. Every day you are shouting hey, hi, hey, hi. And every day millions of people are dying. Thousands of children are displaced. People are living inside IDP camps. And you people are talking about election. What election? We are telling you that Boko Haram terrorists are no longer in prison yard. You must be scared. You should be worried about it. Something is fishy. Something is seriously fishy. Something is fishy. The people that are supposed to impeach the president, all of them are going for vacation. Going to visit the Guaremado. Misplacement of priority. You are going to visit a failed senator like you. Why you are supposed to be sitting down? Asking how terrorists managed to leave Kujia prison. The president that is supposed to protect lives and properties, that is not resigning, is supposed to be impeached. And all of you are shouting.
until the election. Why you are very soon they will Islamize all of you? They have banned alcohol in, in, in Abuja. You are talking about the election. What election? What election? You don't hear that Boko Haram terrorists are no longer in the prison. You are waiting for where they will strike first, right? You are waiting for where they will strike first. You are waiting for them to tell you that you are no longer a Christian, you are going to be a Muslim. Are you waiting for their first attack? Are you waiting for their first attack before you start shouting about the resignation of your president? Your president must be resigning. The service chiefs, all of them should resign. They are failure. Why won't there be jailbreak? When the service chief, the defense minister is supposed to be tendering his